I'm Jay Hayden. I'm a Korean American. I'm Danny Wu. I'm a captain with the Los Angeles City Fire Department, and I am a Chinese American. Yours sounds so much cooler than mine. <laughs> what do you love about being AAPI? The culture. Mm. When I think of culture, I think of food. Yeah. From my childhood to the gatherings we had, just it just shows like the generosity and the selflessness of my mom, and just the impact that it had on my life. My mom, she has a big Korean family. And so it was all about like, how do we have that family culture dynamic always over food, so much food. Being around your family all the time, like in the fire department, maybe that's one of the reasons why I was drawn to that profession. Yeah, it's like a different kind of family. You guys spend so many hours together. How'd you become a captain in a firehouse? Becoming a firefighter in any department is very challenging just due to the number of people that apply. In 2001, I was accepted to the LA Fire Department. 14 years in, I attested to be captain. That's where I am today. I had a lot of difficulty in my industry when I first got here because I wasn't Asian enough to play the friend, but I wasn't white enough to be the white hero guy. Yeah. And so I fought against that in every room that I walked into. And then you put the disciplines of your parents into play. They taught us that drive and that never quit, put the work in, I'm going to outwork you. So then when they said, you, you won't succeed in it. I was harder. like, okay, cool. So now I'm going to prove you wrong. Exactly. And so for me personally, until I saw Asian faces on television and in movies, you don't believe that that's what you can get to. Yeah, I totally agree. I remember just as, as a child, my parents would be so happy when they saw Connie Chung on TV. Right. Because they're like, oh my <laughs> gosh, if there's an Asian on TV. And representation on my job is pretty big because every time I get a car full of elderly Asians, even if they're not Chinese, if they're Korean, Vietnamese, Filipino, their eyes light up. Yeah. And just the fact that they see me, I know they have a connection and you see their anxiety just kind of just wane down. So if I can inspire someone out there and if they see me and they say, hey, you know what? That person looks like me. Yeah. I'm gonna try and do that. And if you're not AAPI, you don't really have the perspective mm -hmm. of what's going on. And sometimes it takes a little bit of education just to have them empathize or walk in your shoes. We actually did a storyline this year about racist slurs just at the grocery store. My mom got spit on at the grocery store. When my mom told me, I was so hot with rage, you know, remembering the times when I was a kid and, you know, people would say stuff to us and then we would just go home, never to be discussed again. I think that was a powerful moment in the show because that's very relatable. We are taught to not talk about it. If people were racist to us, it would happen and then we would go home and not talk about it again. And that hurt, and as a kid, I needed to talk about it. Systemic racism is everywhere. Yeah. Whether we want to ad admit it or not. Yeah. And the only way we can address it is to take action when it happens. You know, I, I, about 10 years ago, I had these friends and they thought it would be funny to call me ping pong. Mm -hmm. And to not make them uncomfortable, mm -hmm. I laughed and never corrected that moment, made it teachable for myself and for them. And I, you know, I regret that. Now, in this time, I don't want to miss those opportunities again. Our generation our, and the future generations have a, a responsibility to speak out. Yeah. Because it's not going to end and it's not going to get better until we take action and also forgiveness That's, is a big yeah, part of it. Absolutely. But it's also, you know, shame on us sometimes for not saying anything. Yes. We need so. to support each other, but then also reach outside of our bubble. We can say AAPI, but we actually need to yeah. be bigger than that. Yeah. We need allies, and then we need to be allies. That's what we need. Yeah. I agree with you there.